It's that time of year where we get to open up gifts. Now, would pixelized treasure chests count as well? I hope so, because this is the retro treasure, the retro game treasure for December 2018. Looking for that gift idea for somebody who likes retro gaming? Maybe, just maybe, you could provide a subscription all year round to the Retro Game Treasure, where every single month they deliver a selection of retro games right to your door in this pretty swanky. Did I just say swanky? I think I did. This pretty swanky looking pixelized treasure chest. We're going to go ahead, yes we are, yes indeed, we're going to grab a knife and we're going to go ahead and get this opened up and find out what is inside. I should have actually opened this underneath my Christmas tree, which is currently open, which is currently up and lit as we speak. www.retrogametreasure.com, that's where you can subscribe to. And again, you can either subscribe and give it to, as a gift to somebody, somebody that really likes retro gaming. You can also gift yourself. Want to tell anybody just somebody says have you have you done all your gift shopping you could say yes i have and i also got something for myself <laughs> you may not want to say that part loudly as well but www.retrogametreasure.com that's where you can go to subscribe and you can get some game goodies right to your door what game goodies do we have in store oh i rhymed all right i didn't do that on purpose First thing we're going to have a look at is Game & Watch Gallery number 4. This is for the Game Boy Advance. Not a game I have, not a game I've ever played in all honesty, so if you've played this for yourself, let me know down below whether it's a good game or not. I'm gonna, I usually try my best that after I review these, I do unboxings of these, I usually try to play the games right off the bat. I usually put them in and, you know, give them a play see if they're any good or not but if you've played this let me know give me some 411 on that additionally to that we got this game i'm not really sure what is happening oh he's karate chopping no he's karate kicking karate kicking karate kicking some guy in the face Kachow. apparently he feels really bad about it too if you look at the look on his face he's kind of like oh i shouldn't have done that I mean, really, what was the outcome you were expecting? If you were swinging your leg, sure, maybe it took the guy crying for you to feel bad about it, but really, what outcome were you expecting? I have no idea what the name of this game is. If you so happen to know, let me know, and then I'll know. It's from, released in uh, 1984 or Nintendo 1985. Nice purple cartridge for the Famicom. Don't know what it is, though. Let me, let me know down below. Uh, we also have inside Super Mario All-Stars. Mamma mia! Ah, yes, I've played many a Super Mario All-Stars. But you know what? In all honesty, let me come clean about something for you guys. Whenever I played Super Mario All-Stars, I felt like I was cheating on the originals. Sure, this was the newer, jazzier girlfriend that you were going out with. Nicer backgrounds game characters looked a little nicer but I kept thinking to myself but what about the girlfriend that's at home no I don't have multiple girlfriends it's an analogy only it's an analogy only I felt like again I was wanting to play and wanted to go back and play the originals because this was just kind of like the newer versions jazzed up if you will almost like these jazz hands happening right now loved all stars but again felt like I was cheating I felt like I was cheating. You, yeah, not good. And uh, let's have a look what else we got in here. I feel as if that is it. There's this cardboard insert that for the life of me, eh, I can't get out. There we go, okay. That was actually all we got. And then we've got ourselves some treasure. Let's have a look at the t titles once again. We got Super Mario All-Stars. Kind of felt a little bit bad. Let me just also fully explain. I didn't have a girlfriend waiting at home. No, 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 no. Uh, we also got this title right here. I no idea. Somebody's going to have to fill that in for me. Give me the 411, if you will. And then a game that I'm able to tell you what it is. This is the Game & Watch Gallery number 4. Gallery number 4. If you played any one of these games, let me know down below what you think of them. Also, let me know, too, 
How did you feel about Super Mario All-Stars? You felt as if, like me, sure, it's a jazzier looking game, but what about the originals? What about the originals? Did you feel like you were, I don't know, being deceptively misleading, I don't know, to the older game cartridge, the older cartridges that in which these games were based from? I don't know. I probably just overthink stuff. What I'm not overthinking, though, is if you want to head over to www.retrogametreasure.com, you can subscribe. Again, if you want to get yourself the gift for that special somebody, you know, there's still time. There's not much time. I'm going to lay it on the line for you guys. A lot of shipping delays. Canada Post here in Canada has been striking, and now we're not striking, and maybe we're going to strike again just to screw over people that want stuff delivered during the holiday season. But... Either way, uh, Christmas time is coming up very, very quickly. And if you still have yet to shop for that special somebody that likes retro titles or yourself, you can head over to RetroGameTreasure.com and subscribe today. Speaking of subscribing, hey, gents, can I call you gents? Make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's just below this video if you haven't done so already. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss a beat. As always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. See you next time.